Hey everybody, this is Peace Pipe Man coming at you again. I am not smoking a pipe at this moment. <laughs> and the reason why is, is that I just wanted to quickly get on here and share with all my fellow pipe smokers a pipe that I've wanted for a while. I've been watching this pipe artiste hone his craft with making his pipes in the various shapes and I connected with him. We worked together. He, oh, by the way, he was so easy to work with. It was great talking with him and coming up with a design based on the measurements that I wanted and for the purpose of the pipe and that famous pipe artiste is, that's right, a Jason Mouton pipe. I can't believe I finally got it, thanks to my wife. She bought one for me for my birthday, and I actually just received it yesterday. I already opened up the box with my wife, since it was a gift from her to Peace Pipe Man. But now I want to share it with everyone else. And as soon as I am done with this video, I am going to start breaking this bad boy in. And here is the pipe. I absolutely love it. Check this out. Look at that. Beautiful stem work. The button is gorgeous. The funnel is beautiful. It tapers and gets thin down near the mouthpiece. It's got the quartz band, oval shank, and the blast on this bad boy is stunning. Look at that. Nice plateau. I originally was going to go with red, but when I saw the color of this briar, and after talking with Jason, we agreed this, just the natural briar would be stunning. And it will get a little darker as it ages. And this pipe is going to be dedicated to full Virginia Flakes. It's very light and most importantly, oh my God, it is absolutely beautiful. Mm. And what I'm going to smoke today though, is because I don't have any of the full Virginia Flake prepared. I happened to be uh, getting ready for spring and I was going through and putting my winter jackets away and I happened to find this in my jacket. Forgot all about it. I opened it up and I expected the flakes to be dried right out and they're not. It's actually at perfect humidity for me just to break this up and put it in this bowl. So that's what it looks like. It's an excellent Virginia dark flake. And I will be filling this up halfway for a while to break it in. But this is absolutely a stunning pipe. Jason, thanks so much. I will be enjoying this for many years to come. And he also sent me some samples of tobaccos that I've never had. One is Peter Hendricks Golden Slice. And Jay, I already tried it. It's got a unique smell and, oh, let me put this down. And I've never had anything like this before. Straight Virginia. It tastes like lemons. 
it, it is delicious and this is another blend that you can smoke when it's like 95 degrees outside with a cold drink this would taste delicious and to me it's an all dare you can smoke this all day long and you won't get bored with it it's um it doesn't change in flavor profiles it's consistent from the initial light all the way down to the bowl the humidity of this flake i didn't even let it dry out i just loaded a bowl up and smoked it this is an outstanding outstanding blend unique from all the other virginias i've ever had i also tried St. James Flake. Really good Virginia Perique blend. There's nothing else to this blend, no Kentuckys, no additives. And it's really good. I mean, there's a lot of really good uh, Virginia Perique's out there. But this is, this is up there with all of them as well. I think it's up to what, what's your guys' preference, but it's really a good flake too. So again, I just wanted to come on real quick and say, guys, here's Pete's Pipe Man's birthday pipe from Jason Mouton. And he knocked it out of the park again. I can see myself smoking this for a very long time and it's gonna probably be one of those pipes that I gravitate because oh my it's gorgeous and it's light it feels great in my mouth he did the mouth be perfectly and uh, with all of that guys keep those uh, videos coming I do enjoy them and again guys keep them smoking that's what they're made for cheers everyone